Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Cube root of 150. So when we do the cube root of any number in the Abacus tool, we have to divide the tool into three parts. This is a 17 rod backer, so I'm going to divide it like four rods, six rods, and seven rods. Four rods being for root numbers, six rods being for square numbers, and seven rods being for cube numbers. So I'm going to place 150 in the cube part. I know that I have to group this number into 3. So I'm grouping it into 3. That means when I do the default step, I have to start it from here. This is group 1. So the default step is I take 1 in the root number and 1 in the square number and I have to subtract 1 in the cube number. So 150 minus 1 is 149. Now I'll do the first step, 1. I'm going to add 2. Now the second step, 2. I'm going to add 4. Now I have 7. I'm going to remove 7 from here. 5. I'm going to add 5 to this. It will be 12. Again 2. I'm going to add 19. So this 19 I'm going to remove from here. The first step, 1. It is 8 now. Plus 10 minus 2. Now add 2 which will be 10. I have to add 10 here. It is 37. I'm going to remove 37. Minus 10 plus 7. Minus 10. Minus 10 and plus 3. Now I have to take the, I have to do the first step. That is 11. I'm going to add 11 here. Now the second step. 13, 1 and 3. Now I have 61. I'm going to remove 61. I have 13 and I can see that 61, this is 61 and this is 25. 25 is much smaller than 61 so even if I do further steps it will not work out. So I'm going to just add 1. So this is first step. First step uh, I can perform it or I need not have to even perform it. So it is 14, I'll just add 14 here. I'm going to end here. Now I'm going to do the default step which is I have to add 16. That is plus 2 and I have to divide it by 3. So 3 5s are is 15. 3 5s are is 15. 1 5 15. Now whatever comes after this is the decimal place. So I have 10. So it will be 3 3s are 9. So ideally my answer would come around 5.3. So answer to this question is 5.3 approx. Only sometimes we get exact or accurate answers. And other than that, I'm not very sure. It's an imperfect cube definitely. So I'm going to just write 5.3 approx. I hope this video was helpful. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.